So the idea of this video is to show you the amazing bit of kit that I came up with. Right, I'm just going to... Really? Wow, that's loud. I can hear you coughing through my headphones. That's impressive. That's a good microphone. So I'm using my studio quality microphone. studio work. Um, so I've designed a, a cutting bed and in, in my last build I had three cutting beds, one for um, smelting items, one for gems and one for food and eventually I came up with the idea of actually merging all three together because let's be fair you can only use one of the beds anyway at one point, what's the point of having three? So this is my build frame the cradle. So I've got the automated repair centre up and running and basically rather than wasting time putting the drills on the surface I just dig down straight away and just get to the bottom so I can set up my first drill down in my bucket and then build up my conveyor belt system so that I can basically send all the resources upstairs and start building off and I pan it right so it comes up here and it pans right goes into these five smelters and then turns right again and then leads off right again uh, for the compressors and then it turns left uh, and then goes off into the cutting bed um, which basically means I can just cut everything down that I want to cut down basically and it is just really handy to have because on some orders they can be really ridiculous and cutting down with a saw is a pain. this quite early on in the game um, and I, I changed it around because my idea was to actually have it fed into the cutting bed and then what I actually need will come out here and then drop on the floor which is what I wanted um, so yeah hang on a second two seconds my daughter's just come downstairs what's up sweetheart okay do you want me to come across yeah I can come across if you want uh, right, give me two seconds and I'll be with you. So basically, I'll just explain this very quickly. Uh, so you feed a piece of resource on the top of the bed. You program in the size of it that you want. So one gram, press the plus button there, uh, or the play button, put the item on. It will then cut off, come outside. What you need in size will drop on the floor. And the idea is that it's going to come down the line back in so if you're cutting say um, an iron bar or anything it will drop into the smelter pick up the iron bar take it back to the normal one same as a compressor same as the food it just compresses down rather than it compressing down into what you don't want um, so the idea is what you don't need compresses down and what you do need is already been cut you can then just go use it uh, whereas on my previous build, it basically compresses down into what you need and it doesn't compress down on what you don't need. Uh, which is donut over here and don't read, really, but, but you know, I had to redesign it. So, uh, And I just wanted to show you what I've done. Um, the idea is I'm going to basically build the red pipe in order to then go to South Hope. Unfortunately, in this build, for whatever reason, I'm getting two and a half grams worth of iron ore. I can't actually do anything with because I'm only getting 2.3 as a max. So half of my orders I can't actually complete and the rest of them are basically just food orders, which is really annoying because I'm building loads of food tokens but no actual prospect tokens. So I've got everything for that but unfortunately struggling for normal orders and I'm getting about three or four of those. Uh, anyway, I'm going to 
a dash off, but uh, on top of that, I've got obviously my food area, I've got obviously my seating area, and I've got an automated filling station for my vehicle set up there as well, which is quite handy. Uh, and eventually, when I get myself to the point where I can go to South Hope, which I'm hoping is going to be some point this year, um, I can then crack on with that build and get my massive warehouse and mansion built and have a little play about and blah blah blah. Right anyway, I'm going to dash off, um, I hope you like the, the build design, if you want to introduce it into yours feel free, that's why I designed it and why I showed it to you uh, so that people could use it rather than just having, you know, whatever, it's just, it compresses straight down, simple little design and it's quite handy for those that want to play the game. Um, anyway, I'm going to dash off. I've been Oswald Blear at Vivida. Have a nice day, nice afternoon, enjoy your dinner, and uh, have a good evening. I will see you on the ice. Take care. Bye.